Transmission recording in three, two, one. My name is Dr. Roy Kahn. I'm a specialist in artificial intelligence, supervisor and chief robotic research engineer at 80, Artificial Intelligence Technology Incorporated, April 16th, 2015. I was hired by AD three years ago to help finish develop a microchip for their robotic research and reconnaissance project. The idea was to create robots that looked identical to humans. We would copy someone's memory and download it into the head of a robot surrogate. I became so immersed in the research that I began to stray from the original goal. An industry motivated by innovation as well as profit doesn't look down on exceeding expectations. At the time, I felt that cognition was necessary for the robots to learn. They could observe their surroundings and the interactions occurring between other beings, analyze the inputted data, and initiate responses in situations with similar scenarios through the application of this stored knowledge. If they watched a football game, they would learn the rules. Two months ago, there was a demonstration for Colonel Milton. Milton wanted to copy the brains of the top Special Forces soldiers onto the robots so they could be sent on recon missions and scenarios too dangerous for living soldiers, but something went wrong. The RTs grabbed eight soldiers and drowned them in the train. The RTs weren't ready for that. All of the research and models Emma and I had built, oh. Milton destroyed everything. Almost everything. Artie was the first robot. Right. It was the initial test robot. It was made in secret. Only a few notes existed about him. And I, I destroyed all evidence about him before the accident. And when it happened, I sent him away. End of transmission. Hello, Roy. Hello, Milton. So as you've probably figured out by now, we've been scoping the country for any remaining RTs that were misplaced last year. And we think we found three, but due to the amendments to the Privacy Act, I can't put proper draw blood from anyone. Hell, I can't even send them in for an X-ray without the board approval. But that'll stop you. Well, let's just say my morals have changed over this past year. And I told the board that the quickest way to identify an RT would be to call a specialist. It'd be you. And, uh... Some of the big guys might be listening in, so that's not too surprising when to talk to him. Him? I had my guys on recount in your office a few months before the incident occurred. I came across some descriptions of the test you were on. Unfortunately for us, we destroyed all those files before we could get to them. Now, about a couple of weeks ago, we came across a high school athlete that had all kinds of track records. I went down to him, told him to lay low, told him some people from here were going to be coming to talk to him. His name is Elliot. And a little piece of advice, Roy. Next time you try to hide a multi-million dollar marble, remember that we're the government and we'll notice when one of your ex-girlfriends suddenly adopts an 18-year-old kid. But don't worry, we're not the only ones who know he's staying with somebody you know. Just us. Well, there is one more person, but she wanted to keep her distance. 